Good afternoon everyone. Today I thought I would um, show you a little bit about our broccoli and talk about the um, different methods of growing it and what we do and what works. Um, we've got a variety of plants here. Um, these are our oldest plants um, and you can see they've got a fair size trunk on them. That's my thumb in comparison, so it's a fair size trunk. Um, th this plant in particular um, is about two years old. Now, I see lots of people talking on, about broccoli. Oh, we planted it and it just went to seed and we didn't get a big broccoli head. Um, and it doesn't look like the supermarket. And that's exactly my experience as well. I've never had a broccoli um, grow a massive head that looks like the supermarket um, these are um, a miniature variety of broccoli um, they're not a broccolini um, but they look like broccolini and we use them as broccolini um, what I found is that in our climate in Ballarat the cool zone um, we i've never been successful in growing a big broccoli head on its own um, so instead of that i grow the broccoli um, to when it gets its first sprout like this and then i chop the plant off um, and then as soon as you chop it off it shoots out a heap of runners um, and this is probably a better example here of it so our original sorry guys so our original broccoli head is here which we chopped off and then it shot out all these branches and every branch has a new broccoli head on it um, and if you have a look here so this is the the bit which we eat and the little bit of stem and then right down the bottom here where the leaf is it's growing the next broccoli head just here so what you can do is we just trim off all these heads and we eat these and if you've got a patch of this size you can see all those through there when they go white with these white flowers that is them going to to seed um so they're, that we've laid it too long for that particular one. We want to get them when they're at this, they're looking like this. Um, if you leave this one for another week, it will go to a flowers and disappear and then it's no good. The flowers, you can eat them, they're edible, they're fine. Um, but obviously you lose a lot of your broccoli. Um, this whole centre just becomes a big flower and then it disappears. So it's not much good. So, um, so yeah, we just trim off, and, and some of these big plants, you'll get some reasonable size broccoli heads. So that one's that size. And if we trim it off here, that will allow these new ones to grow through here. And you can see it just shoots up 10 or so new ones. So don't be afraid if your broccoli isn't growing a massive head, it's starting to go to seed, don't pull the plant out. Just chop it off, chop these um, chop these bits off and leave it in and all year round. So these, I grow broccoli all year round, all through summer, all through winter, it will grow these. Um, you just keep at it um, and um, they, they taste perfectly fine. Um, and if you, you've got a patch this size, Oh, you, out of all these, I've got more over here. Um, so these are the same. So we just cut them all off, put them in a bag, and they're perfect to eat. You can see these ones have got a fair trunk on them. Now what I find is that as you keep trimming these broccoli plants, they get bigger and bigger and, and they'll, they'll, they'll get higher and higher here. I like to keep them at a reasonable height about this size. Um, so don't be scared to give them a good lopping. Um, like this one here, for example, 
it's it's been a massive tree with a huge trunk i just chopped it off here as soon as i've chopped it off it shot out all new ones all over the side of it um here's another example over here of it so there's the original big trunk we've cut that off it shot out a new one here with all these new ones look at this it's healthy it's healthy um and then we'll just keep chopping these heads off now the key to the broccoli and having plentiful um production on it is to remove the leaves they don't need any leaves um i leave one or two per plant and that's it um they just crowd the plant right out and then the sun doesn't get in there and it doesn't grow as good um, because it's putting all its energy into the leaves um, instead of the edible part which is what you want this part here so you just nip the leaves off as they grow like that um, and then don't be scared to run your snippers through keep it trimmed down like a bit of a hedge um, be a bit brutal on them um, don't stress you won't kill them unless you pull them out now as I said these particular ones here are a couple of years old um, for no particular reason except that I wanted to move the broccoli to a different bed um, I do like to rotate things every so often into a different bed so i'm not always growing the same vegetable in the same bed um, i've planted some new ones which will replace these when they're ready um, and they're over here so this is going to be my new broccoli bed so these were planted by seed um, i reckon it's probably about three to four months ago um there would be a video about it if you look back through the blog um i haven't touched these all i've done is put the seeds in through here um, at these spacings when they come up i put a stake in it doesn't have to be attached to the plant itself just next to the plant and what it does is it stops the wind moving the plant so much that it actually moves all the soil down here and then falls over um, that's not what you want so um, these broccolis you can see at this stage of their life they just keep shooting more and more leaves um, they look beautiful these big leaves um, and you can put them in cold slaw and stuff but they're not particularly useful but there's no head down there yet so in the next couple of weeks what i'll be doing is chopping all these leaves off and what you'll find so wherever we chop this leaf off it'll shoot another little broccoli will come out just above these leaves here so there's no no even sign of any at the moment but potentially each one of these so there's one two three four five um lateral branches with each big leaf on it if i cut that leaf off you'll probably get about four or five broccoli heads will shoot from that lateral and then you can times that part of the plant so this could have probably 25 um, little broccoli heads growing on that one plant um, now broccoli as you can see needs a lot of space to grow um, in this bed that one obviously didn't do any well um, but the spacings between them here um, I've put, spaced them about three to four hundred um, so this bed itself is 1100 wide um, from here to here um, and I've only put three rows in you don't want any more of that because they get too crowded and they won't grow properly um, they need plenty of space nip all the leaves off um, and um, yeah you'll be able to enjoy broccoli all year round um, they're a fabulous plant um, they do require pruning all the time um, so keep your leaves off keep your flowers off as soon as they go start flowering nip the flowers straight off um, and um, yeah you'll be able to enjoy broccoli all year round so um, got any questions um, shoot them through and um, happy gardening <laughs>